Hi, my name is Kimberly. I'm making this video to talk about my abortion experience. Um, I was told when I was 15 or 16 years old that I couldn't get pregnant. And, um, well, apparently I could. I was dating this guy for um, two months, not very long. And uh, he was in the army. And when he went away, because he was stationed in Fort Benning, I found out that I was pregnant. I was kind of um, in disbelief. I had this feeling that something was wrong and so I went to the CVS and got a pregnancy test and I was just in disbelief. I took six and then um, I finally went to the doctor. I went to Planned Parenthood and uh, I told them I wasn't sure about getting an abortion. It wasn't really something that I wanted but um, I felt a lot of pressure from him. From the moment that I told him he was just kind of um, hateful, <laughs> to say the least, towards me. Um, he told me he was going to push me down the stairs, that he hated me. Oh, well, he would hate me if I kept the baby, but he didn't hate me. He was just, he was very rude. He basically made it pretty apparent that he wasn't going to be there at all. And, um, you know, of course, I'm only 20 years old, and I'm not financially stable by any means. And so I kind of felt pressured to do it, even though it wasn't something that I really believed in. I've, I've always believed that it was the woman's choice, but I didn't think that it was for me. But um, when I was eight weeks, I went to Planned Parenthood. This was after I had gotten an ultrasound and everything. Texas law makes you get an ultrasound and wait 24 hours before you make an appointment. Anyways, so um, I went and uh, when I got there, I was still unsure about it, but um, I decided to go through with it. They had to come back like three times and ask me before I did it. But um, I did it, and um, the whole experience was very traumatic. I remember laying there, and they injected me with the drugs, and it just it happened so fast. I couldn't really change my mind about it. And... Um, I felt like it was the best thing to do for me, but um, I feel differently now. I honestly feel like it was the worst mistake I ever made in my life. I don't feel like it was the baby's fault at all for me to be in that situation. You know, regardless of how shitty the situation was, it wasn't the baby's fault. You know, at, at five weeks, a baby can have a heartbeat. I mean, it doesn't show up on an ultrasound, but it's there. And I mean, how do you define if a person's dead or alive by the heartbeat? And, um, I mean, it was honestly just, it was very traumatic for me. I, I think it was the worst mistake I've ever made in my life. And I know that I'm going to think about this every day. And I wish more than anything I wouldn't have done it. I feel like even, you know, when I have kids in the future, I'm still going to think about this and... I know that I thought before it was always a woman's choice, but after I went through the experience and I experienced the guilt that I feel now, I think it's completely wrong. I, I would never suggest to a woman to do it, ever. I mean, I, I talk to girls that have had three abortions and they don't feel guilty about it. There's something seriously wrong with them. I mean, I just, I feel like it's it's horrible. You know, I had life inside of me, and they sucked it out with a vacuum, and it was medical waste. It was the worst mistake I ever made in my life. And um, I just made this video so that other girls would see that even though it seems like a good idea, it's not. I'm, I'm not even sure how... I'm going to live with the guilt of what I did for the rest of my life. I was worried about getting fat and I was worried about being a single mom when I'm not financially stable. I don't, I haven't finished school yet, you know, but all of the things that I was worried about before, like finishing school and is a guy going to date me if I'm a single mom and I have a kid and all of that kind of bullshit, it just doesn't even matter to me now. I wish more than anything that I wouldn't have gotten an abortion. I, 
I have a niece and I love her more than anything. I can't even imagine if I had my own kid. And I just, I wish I wouldn't have let other people influence me to do it. And um, I don't think any woman should do it. I, I think it's completely wrong. If um, you're thinking about do it, please, please consider adoption or you know what, the guy may not be there for you, but there's always a way. There is always a way. Always. Anyways. Thank you for watching this video. I hope that I changed someone's mind.